Hi everyone, my name is Dave Casuto from San Francisco Computer Tutors and in this exercise we're going to show you the very simple process of how to set a background color using Dreamweavers. Okay, very simple. Okay, if you're familiar with the um, properties panel, go ahead and bring that up. If you don't have it up already, go to Windows, Window, excuse me, and then go ahead and choose Properties. And you're going to see here there's a big button in the lower right of the, of the panel called Page Properties and you see a number of different things there including your background color. Okay, You might even want to put in a background image but for this case we're just going to put in a background color. I'm going to cl click on this little square right there and it's going to give me a whole palette of different colors to choose from. So it gives me a little preview, it gives me the, the hex value and all those different things and maybe I'll choose kind of a off-white and then basically you're done at that point. Click OK and then you can see it there. Okay, Maybe not my ideal choice and I probably want to work on this logo a little bit um, but uh, that's pretty much how you do it at this point. Okay, and You can also do it directly from your your panel as well but I want to introduce you to the page properties button so you can see all the other ones but you can do this one as well if you'd like to and it changes it in real time for you. Actually I misspoke. Yeah, okay, that, that's for the cell. Okay, I'll cut it out. I'll cut that part out. Okay. All right. All right. So my, I, could, okay, I can come back to here. Okay. <clears throat> and then, okay, so uh, yeah, and then um, you're pretty much done at this point. So good luck and have fun with that. And by the way, if you do want to change the, the background cells for, um, for each individual um, table element, you can do that as well within that and that's actually staying right here on your properties panel and then you can just change that one if you'd like to and then I have my different cells right here and I can change those to different colors okay maybe kind of a lighter gray etc so you have those options to do that as well if you don't want the entire background that's for the whole page and what I've just showed you right there that's actually for individual cells alright have fun and good luck alright well that concludes our exercise on uh, setting the background color using Dreamweaver. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, once again, my name is Dave Casuto from San Francisco Computer Tutors, and you can look me up on Yelp.com under San Francisco Computer Tutors, and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.